Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just log in with your credentials and once you're done with this, just simply come back over here, click on this checkbox and click on agree and continue. Now just wait and activate your cloud shell. It will take a couple of seconds, so just wait for that. Now just simply click on continue. Now in description box, I will share one GitHub link. So just open that link and then you are able to access this document. Now what you have to do, just simply scroll down and here you can see I already separated the documents. Now just copy command from here till here. Just copy like this. Make sure you have to just copy all this command like this. And once you're done, just simply come back over here, paste and hit enter. And then just simply click on this authorize. Now just wait for to this command get execute. And once it's done, you are done with the task number one, two, three, and four. So just wait for a couple of minutes and let's see. And it's done. Now what you have to do, just simply come back over here and just simply come on the task number 5. Now I request you please watch the video carefully because this task is little bit tricky. What you have to do, first of all just open this link in incognito window like this. Just wait. And then you have to choose HTTP. Just simply click on the start configurations and from here I request you please pay attention. First of all you have to choose from internet. And here you can see you have to choose global classic, the middle one. Just simply click on continue. Now for the name, just simply scroll down and here you can see from the point number 4, just copy this name carefully. Make sure that you do not copy an extra space, just copy the name carefully, paste over here. Okay, now please pay attention. For the front end configuration, just simply scroll down and here you can see IP address, just simply click over here and then just simply click on this create IP address like this. Now for the name, just simply scroll down and here you can see from the point number 11, just copy this name, just copy that name and paste over here like this then just simply click on reverse wait for a second and then just simply click on continue so you have done with the front end configuration now just simply click on this back end configuration from here just simply choose services back end services just simply choose that now for the name just simply scroll up and here you can see from the point number six just copy this name make sure that you do not copy that full stop just copy the name carefully and paste over here like this now just simply scroll down and here you can see just choose instance group which you just created previously okay now for the port number just simply type 80 and then click on this blank space and make sure that the port number must be 80 because what happens sometimes port number change automatically okay once you're done with this scroll down click on this done again just simply scroll down and from here you can see health check just choose that okay you are done with all these things just simply click on this create then click on ok and then click on this create option so you are done with this task number five now just simply scroll down no need to perform all these tasks just simply scroll down and here you can see set up iap now open this link in incognito window like this and if it asks for choosing a project just choose that then click on this enable api And it's done now just simply click on this go to identity and then click on this configure okay now just wait and here make sure that you have to choose the external type make sure you have to choose external then just simply click on create now for the application name just simply type quick lab click on this unwanted pop-up okay now just simply type quick lab like this click over here then choose this email id now what you have to do just copy this username just copy that scroll down and here you can see just paste the username over here then click on the save and continue just wait and it's done again just simply scroll down click on this save and continue 
then click on this save and continue scroll down and then click on this back to dashboard it's done now just simply come back to this tab refresh the page and then just simply click on this enable like this then click on this checkbox and then click on this turn on now just wait and if you face this kind of error no need to worry about that just simply click on this close option now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue just wait and watch and as you can see i got a score now what you have to do again just copy this username click on this checkbox okay just simply click on this checkbox just wait over here and then just simply click on this add principal now just paste the username which you just copy and then click on this blank space now for the role just simply scroll down and here you can see just copy this role just copy this role and just simply search over here like this and then choose that then click on this save and it's done now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress on first time you might not get a score no need to worry about that because lab take time to update score so, so just keep hitting on check my progress you will get a score without an issue and as you can see for me it's give a second attempt i got a score it might take a couple of time no need to worry about that now no need to perform the task number seven just simply scroll down click on this check my progress you will get a score without an issue just keep hitting on check my progress you will get a score without an issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys